Hello, adventurers, and welcome to Roll for Bluff, our podcast where we discuss our ongoing campaign for Dungeons and Dragons, Bards and Nobles. I am Sam. I play Calmine in our campaign, and I'll be your host for the evening. To my right, we have Tristan, who plays Soren Thunderfist. To my left, we have Zeke, who plays Leon Silvershadow. And to my very far left, we have Brandon, our <sighs> dungeon master. Yes. And they'll be joining me tonight as my co-host and my social media advisors. Um, and we'll be Ooh. talking about our story tonight um, in Tedious Travels. Ooh. So we uh, we started off this night... Traveling. Traveling, <laughs> as the name would suggest. Strange. Weird how that happened. Right. No one knew I mean, I, I, the past few times we, you guys have traveled, I've made it more like night-by-night night basis. Right. But this time, since it was like an extended with everyone around travel... I got a caravan. Yeah, I wanted to make it a little more event-focused. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you wouldn't we wouldn't have to be bogged down by... Like night after night after night after night after night of doing the same thing repetitiously. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I had a whole list and rolled off of that list, and uh, you guys are just the luckiest players. Oh, it was pretty nice actually. Lucky players, one bad rogue who can't shut his mouth. But we'll break that down. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we're both bad rogues that can't shut our mouths. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but there was a little bit I'm more of one there to calm today. Calm down, he's been on my back all day. Calm down, yeah. just, just calm, calm down. down. Exactly. So, you want to start us off? I mean, there was the first time you guys were getting ready to leave. Yeah. So, I mean, were you guys anxious about leaving? Were you guys worried about the road to happen? I was glad to get the hell out of Dramic. <laughs> Quite, because <laughs> Stuff just every keeps single day we were in Dramic, it was like something awful happened. Yeah. Basically. So I was I was actually quite relieved. It keeps getting worse here. Yeah. Yeah. For some weird reason, it just <laughs> kept getting worse. So we left. <laughs> so, um, I mean, the first night uh, kind of started off with a... With something interesting happening. Because you guys, you know, slept the beginning of your journey. Right. For fairness. Because you, you guys... just fight golems, so you we guys just had a terrible time. But, you know, when you guys are keeping watch, you uh, saw something in the distance. Yeah. Chupacabra. We saw... Um, not a chupacabra. We saw uh, some lights um, and what appeared to be uh, mounted riders approaching us. Um, and, you know, I sort of... It was like, hey, Francesca, who was driving the cart, like, uh, there's stuff over there. There's people. Um, well, what's the deal with those? I love that she was just like, yeah, I know. I wasn't going to worry about it. <laughs> what are you planning on like, telling us? Oh, okay. <laughs> she has one goal to get there. She wasn't going to be like, I'm not going to stop for everybody who's still like, who knows? For as far as you guys know, you guys passed a bunch of merchants. Yeah. yeah. And she was like, whatever, I don't care. Yeah. I mean, well, sure. That's, that's fine. That's her prerogative. I understand. Yeah. So, but uh, through a pretty good perception check. You found out that they were knights of the empire. Ah, uh, the good old king's guards. Yay, knights! Yep, yeah, that was. I mean, what could have possibly gone wrong? Nothing could I don't have know. possibly gone wrong. Maybe a rogue that doesn't know how to shut his mouth. Yeah, yeah like maybe a rogue has who to stick was... up his butt like Oof. another knight. So anyway, the these knights halted our caravan um, and instructed us to step out of our vehicles. We, we got we got pulled over by the uh, by the knights. We were told to cross. walk the line. Uh, say the ABCs backwards. Yeah. Uh, Pretty much. <laughs> after a little bit of back and forth, they kind of figured out who we were uh, as the stormbreakers, and they sure had heard of us uh, and had heard of our interactions with the. White Talon, which... We were more of a, being accused of dealing with them and being part of them to some right. degree. Right, right. I mean, yeah. Generally, I mean, I don't know if you know police work, but police work generally, if they're like, oh, you're, you've you been known to associate with known criminals. We should check that. <laughs> what happened to innocent until proven guilty? Yeah, the, you were innocent until They proven. did ask us. It's not like they just executed us on the <laughs> spot. Like, so to be, fair, <laughs> to be fair, they were doing their police work. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, I mean, they were doing due diligence. They we were, they were, we kind were doing of, their were, police work. The, the head guy was kind of a jerk, though. So, I mean, yeah, naturally, I Cal's sparkling personality won him over. You found out why... 
He was being so mean. Ooh. They've been out there for a long, long time. So also, they no just excuse. lost a guy. And mm, they, no yeah, excuse. they lost. But we've lost two through the conversation. Um, Somebody, Devin, sort of like helped us. Let us know, like, hey, when you talk to them, sort of spin it like, you know, you were doing a good thing. Mm -hmm. Um, And then we wound up getting stuck in a magic circle. That was tailored to humanoids. So we couldn't leave. It was great. Mm. Um, And then after being, you know, kind of interrogated and asked questions, Leon decided to uh, name drop, almost, a postman. I know, you almost did. You were like, oh, yeah, we're working with a group. I mean, everyone was like, you said post, and I was that. like, shut yeah. up. <laughs> they were saying why there's so many people. I was like, oh, you know, I was traveling the same area. I know they're traveling for their thing. We're traveling for our thing. And you both No, you like, definitely almost dropped the postman name because I, I was like, not. shut up. <laughs> You can go I back and watch the footage like... and determine for yourself and let us know in the comments <laughs> down said. below. You goofed. You goofed bad. It's fine. <laughs> Number one, lay on. Bing. <laughs> Leon's first goof it's of so the night. Fun. For the record, Leon knew nothing about the postman. You guys talk about it, but no one ever I, shares it. No, I'm pretty sure we filled you in enough by this mm, point. No I mean, you is. should know. No, I haven't had many dealings with the postman. True. That's all. You you are the one that has the dealings with the postman. I have not had any. I've had one. No, I filled well, you, you in. You work with times. Sprout. Yeah, yeah. Sprout. There's a Sprout whole is like anyway. Nah, anyway, he should have known better. Either way, he didn't. Continue. Leon goofed and uh, we got into some... Uh, Ooh, some hot water. Yeah. You now have um, uh, an official royal summons to the capital. Oh, he and... summoned us before that, too. Oh, yeah. No, he said we might get one. We might get a summons from a... Historical... Historical Reclamation yeah. Society. Yay! Find um, out more about that later. But then it changed later. into, well, now you have to go in two months. Yes. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you have why. two months until you have to appear in the capital. Yeah. <sighs> Well, it'll take us two months just to get there. Right. I mean, we've got we've got more important priorities at the right. moment, but yeah. So eventually, they let you go. Um, you're also told. I mean, you also you know, you you had someone who felt really bad for how you're being treated, and she kind of. I appreciated her. Was like, here, take this. Get yeah. some nice clothes from me. Well, I can tell that she probably doesn't get treated all that nice. Da da. <laughs> yeah. Um, so then you were let go, and you continued on for the the night. After a few more days. You um, got kind of lucky, unlucky. Yeah. You know, right. four days of you guys interacting, you guys kind of like, stop being dumb, like, stop being dumb, don't be dumb with each other. Um, mm-hmm. you, Soren was at the reins, and... Uh, I rolled in that one! <laughs> that was <so> Woohoo! <laughs> and the horses went... Goodbye! <laughs> off path into a small, densely wooded area, and through sheer fate, that one was kind of like... It helped. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you ended up in front, uh, in the clearing, uh, next to a trend. To which Leard was like, let's get out of here quietly and slowly. And it was like, well, that's too late, because now I'm a giant tree person. The tree, tree leaned down and was like, hello. <laughs> I Everyone mean, was giant. like, uh... Not normal. <laughs> this is not normal. Yeah. This tree shouldn't have no. a face. Tree should this not tree have a face. I will say, this is one of those moments where you definitely, it's definitely a plus that Soren is not too bothered talking to strange things. Like, oh, giant cheapers. Uh, hi, I am Soren Thunderfist. You are a giant tree? Man, dope. How can we help you? <laughs> you learn that um, the forest in the surrounding area has, has started to like rot and decay and be tainted. And, you know, destroyed. And the last thing he did was give you a large seed. Yes. yes. Which Lyrant currently has in her possession. She is the most... She is the natural. keeper of the seed. She, she, she is it's about a seed water, about that big. About the size of a Nerf football. It's, it's uh-huh. perfect for, you know, planting new, <laughs> new beginnings. Oh, well, yeah, because we were instructed to plant it in the mountains, pretty much at the source of where the evil was leaching yeah. into. After. After we rid Yeah, it. don't plant evil trees. <laughs> <laughs> I planted this tree. It's now evil. Dang it. It's a clover it. tree. I no. thought, no. Uh, I got the order <laughs> wrong. Oh, destroy Do evil, evil first. Plant then the seed. plant the seed. Oh. How did I screw that up? <laughs> right. So, yeah, so we got the seed and it was like, plant it, please. And we're like, you got it, dude. 
And he was like, cool. The wild mother is smiling upon you. And then and he then was like, died. <laughs> <laughs> and then all the trees in the area died. <laughs> he was the only thing keeping them alive. That was so sad. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, we, uh, we left up out of there. <laughs> and Francesco was like, oh, that was very sad. <laughs> yes. Right? Sad and he was like, let them not die in vain. Let's um, plant the seed. Then, about a day after... Mm-hmm. In the pouring rain. In the pouring rain, as a storm, another storm kicked up because you're by the. I mean, pretty much this storms is, happen. This is what happens when you're at the northern part of a continent. <laughs> um, you see Sorn seeing in the clearing something very strange. Right, it wasn't raining over in a certain area. And you that look was out. The, that was the only strange thing. Yep, that was the only strange thing. And then you guys continue on. <laughs> um, yeah, so let you take it away, Sorn. All right, so we're uh, we're going ahead and driving, and uh, off in the area where it's. Not raining, we see a uh, a white little shimmer, and out of nowhere, there's a unicorn. <laughs> yes, a unicorn. A good old unicorn. One of them didn't 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 like quite look like that. Not no. much rainbows. Not <laughs> as cute. More actual horse. More <laughs> like realism. Silver mane. <laughs> now you may be wondering. Why? why, why, oh, why is Sorn so excited to see a unicorn? Sorn's favorite animal is a unicorn. Why? Because they are the most battle-ready horses. What about minotaur? Minotaurs aren't horses. I mean, they're half horse. They're, they're not, not a animal. horse. Centaurs are no, half centaurs, horse. centaurs, thank you. <laughs> but centaurs don't have their weapons attached directly to no, their No, they head. do not. Yeah, they can if you want to ride weapons. a steed into battle, you want one that already has a weapon. <laughs> or, hear me out, Centaur has two blades. And Centaur is a back. person. Okay, half horse. Anyway, half person. They're Sora's yeah. favorite Either animal. way, yes. It has Just now been saying. fully revealed that unicorns are Sora's favorite animal because of the lore behind them. They are majestic, and they are the most battle-ready species that you can ride into battle. For yeah. a number of reasons, because yeah. even some have wings, so and they're awfully similar to the uh, the well. D- I mean, some unicorns do as well. Oh. These are also the kind of creatures that the Valkyries could ride uh, to a winged pegasi. Yes. yes. So yeah. Sorn, it's like all anime eyes aglow <laughs> and sparkly <laughs> shimmers, like ah, it walks towards the unicorn and stares at it. <laughs> From our point of view. So, yeah, so, so the, the, uh, Francesca stopped and sort of was like, I'm going to go touch it. <laughs> and so he goes over to it, and this is where we find out that uh, unicorns can speak telepathically. Yep. And by we, I mean me, because nobody else hears anything, because yep. Sorn walks over, and the unicorn just starts talking to him telepathically, and sort of replying back telepathically. And everyone just sees Sorn staring at a horse, but in reality, he's having a whole conversation about it. Yep. Pretty much. And, yeah. So we find out that this unicorn is the, the guardian of the Rainbow Bridge uh, in Norse mythology. Um, and the, uh, the unicorn's kind of like, hey, are you worthy of that hammer Thor gave you? Because I've heard a lot about you, but I don't believe it. And then it sort of like, I guess, sure. And he was like, hit me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Prove it. <laughs> and before Sorn really, <laughs> <before laughs> so could even get an answer, uh, he got... No. Kicked and and gored and, 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 <laughs> and stabbed with the with the, with the horn. So then yeah. everyone then saw Sorn go all right and start hitting the unicorn with his hammer. Dude, mentally like viewing that in my head from far away, that was the funniest thing. Ever. Just like stare, cause <laughs> whack whack, and then you just started attacking. I was like, oh my god, he's gonna kill another horse. Go <laughs> <laughs> down to Sorn No boy. And. Uh, so yeah, Sorn took quite a bit of damage because it, you know, it magical, like magical and legendary actions and all that fun stuff. Um, but uh, after a couple of rounds, Sorn did pretty decently with that yeah. second round. Um, so you did enough damage to really make it to be like, okay, yeah, I don't want to die to this, but you're worthy. You, you mm-hmm. did it. You, good show. Good show. Yep. Good job. And um, he like... did what? What amazing thing did he oh, do? Oh, yeah, he fixed my hammer. So the one can, that Thor broke. They can double hand it again. <laughs> Yay. And there was something else amazing that he let you do. I got to pet him. You he did. got to pet the I was like, can I ask for one more favor? What? Can I pet you? <laughs> okay. From such a big guy, I was not expecting that. He's a big softy when it comes he to stuff like this. I can tell. 
Yeah, well, yeah, yeah this is, again, where, where uh, I even mentioned in the stream, this is a callback to a bit, too, when we were at the Tower of Worms, which you weren't <laughs> here for, Zeke. When we're, like, hovering above the town, there's, like, wormlings and stuff, and Soren's like, I'm going to pet it. I'm going to touch it. And yeah. it was like, oh, I'm going to bite it. I'm going to bite his hand off. And he goes, nah. And he flies <laughs> away. And this is where, again, Soren has a soft spot for animals and, you know, kids. He is a big softie. <laughs> yeah. So after he had pet the unicorn, the unicorn... Poofed. Poofed, Poofed away, and Soren came skipping back with just stars and rainbows in his eyes. It's a good day. It was a very good day. Everyone was like, "Oh my god, this is so, this the whole journey has been weird." <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was. I thinking. mean, and don't get me wrong, we probably all should have been a little bit more excited there was a unicorn because Cal's never seen a unicorn. But yeah, Cal's also like, has. "It's a horse with a horn." Ooh, you didn't horse. talk to her or anything. You didn't have like any like in like. If you would have talked to her, I feel like Cal would have been like, oh my god, it's talking to me. It's more than just a horse with a horn. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, you just talk to a horse, <laughs> stare at a horse, hit it with a hammer, and then... Yeah, it's just clung, clung, kick, kick, stab, clung, clung. Yeah. Pet, pet. Oh, I was like, eh, he can handle it. <laughs> it's only one of them. It's uh, just one of them. That was the funniest part. Ten more of them show up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you then we uh, yourself. hopped back on and uh, kept going. Yep. Kept going, and a uh, few more days went by. It was only a few days left until you got there, and mm. uh, because somebody... Can't perception. Can't perceive on this journey. Whoa. You're in your own little world. You That's all the the offensive. I did roll accurate. For the, I rolled for the attack. <laughs> yeah. They did not roll very high. Okay. But pretty much the giants threw uh Oh I forgot about that. I thought we were talking about someone else. Yeah, no, the giants we're talking about threw the pretty giants. much uh large uh, pretty much a tree at you guys. A big old spear. A big old spear at you guys. And <laughs> to me, I mean, honestly, what could I have done? Veer like, to the left. out. Like, Warned everyone. I feel like Francesca would have been like, what? And we would have been hit. Still would have been on alert. Yeah. I mean, it's... Anyway. Either way. We almost got hit with a giant. Thing. A giant <laughs> showed up, yeah. which is a huge creature, right? Large. No, huge. No, huge. Giants yeah. are huge. Um, and, which is... Which immediately, Soren was like, Jerude! <laughs> Check it out! It's giants! Which, uh, if you don't know, Goliaths are descendants of giants. Yeah. The point where we uh, speak uh, giant as specifically, well. Specifically, you find out now you know that your clan is specifically from stone giants. Yes. Not hill giants. Stone giants. Which are like an offshoot. They're a little different. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you, you ran up and you started talking to them. And in like, Giant, and they were like, what the heck? <laughs> and you took Cal, and she was, like, keeping off her distance to be like, okay. I was, like, I, sneaky sneaking. Just if <laughs> anything goes wrong, yeah. I'm here to, you know, let everyone else know, like, oh, they're dead. I won't help you, but I'll just tell everybody else you're dying. It's fine. <laughs> you know, we can all see the movement that's going on. Right. So, you, um... Come to find out that they are that they're your pretty much your cousins, but distance cousins, but your cousins. Right. We're we're essentially descendants of their group of yep. giants, which is like, oh my god! They were like, nope, we know your name. Ah. <laughs> and you talk to them, that you found out that their the rest of their tribe is held up at the base on the other side of the mountain range, trying to survive, and they left because of the they have kids. kids. They have. So you pretty much were like. Want to help? <laughs> well, and no, they, they like, actually offered to help. It's like, would you guys like help? And we're like, I mean, sure. I can say no. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they didn't offer to like take care of much for you. They just offered to help with the big birds. They want. They they just wanted the big birds. wings. Yeah, they wanted the big wings, which I assume to eat. Uh, <laughs> you are correct. They got like some barbecue sauce and like a giant bowl. They're like, hey, I make delicious meat out of this rock wings. I mean, it's gargantuan yeah. so it's a large game to them yeah and they are they try they're, and, they're giants of course they want to take them down yeah they're gonna eat it so yeah so they left the kids back at their big uh you know mountain house we're gonna stay there for a few days and uh they joined our group and uh continued on with us as we traveled down with they said that's what they're gonna do they're gonna go with uh poe and uh grom tag to where the uh, the rocks, the gigantic birds are going to be uh, and help take care of those, which will be which invaluable. Is, <laughs> yep, you guys get super lucky on yeah. that one. Imagine if you guys didn't have, uh, you know, sword. Cal totally cool with giants if they take out birds. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, like can you guys imagine though if you didn't have someone who spoke giant and was related? Yeah, yeah. We, we did luck out. So. If you got if you had the other know. part of that, the hill giants, they wouldn't have been related. They would have been like. 
go away. Mm. <laughs> but it wouldn't have been a fight. Right, because I imagine it still would have been like, no, we come in peace. And in Giant, they would have been like, ah, dope, cool. just keep heading that way and we won't have any problems. It'd be like, all right, dope. Keep moving out of our town and we'll be back. All right, bye. <laughs> like, all right, bye. <laughs> but yeah, so now you have a little bit more um, muscle. Mm. So a little bit more. They continue along. You, I mean, they're pretty much like, oh my god, more family, all of you. Yeah, because it's all the other Goliaths are like, we've been meeting to visit, we're sorry. And it's like, yay! <laughs> and we're like, that's fine, times are tough. <laughs> and then, you know, you're about one day away, the night before you guys make it there. <sighs> and our favorite and was, person in the world it shows up. my turn to have fun. <laughs> favorite person. Fox. Damn it. Just decides to uh, roll on up. And of course, like, we wake up. And Francesca's out, and we're all sitting there like, oh, God, not this guy again. <laughs> and she's like, oh, how's it going, guys? And he is a little too nice. And we're all trying to stay as quiet as possible. Like, we, we're trying hey, not to give him like more ammo. The we're... opposite of normally how you are. You guys normally are like, I'm, fuck you, man. <laughs> well, I mean, this is where we're, you know, some of us are trying to like learn from our mistakes. Where it's like, yeah. you know what? If we don't give him any ammo, you can't say anything. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, we're just so close to being done with this. Like, I'm, yeah. And Cal's brain was like, don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Like, yeah. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Leon was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, on the other hand, oh, I'm like, doing. was like, I'm gonna fuck it up. <laughs> Leon just like, I have He's like, hey, do you have any information? <laughs> or do you he was like, here, hold my beer. <laughs> Bet. Yeah, if, it was, if it's not one rogue, it's the other. Yeah, so we had the rest of the party just pretty much quiet, out. giving short answers, not trying to add fuel to the fire. And just he like, just goes... And Fox. Leon's just like, yeah, uh, hey, Fox, do you know anything about this sword? And to which it's like, seriously, did you just ask the demon about the demon-killing sword that we are looking for? Dude, I kind of forgot at that second I was a demon killing soul. He immediately like, oh, recognized what you were talking about. I totally forgot about that. And was like, you going for that, huh? Well. Cat's out of the bag. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm in there, dog. <laughs> what up? So he was like, oh, okay, so. <laughs> I was like, so you got this gonna work. <laughs> He's like, so uh, you're going to get that and give it to me, right? And <laughs> you see. Immediately, Soren's like, no. No. I'm not doing another deal. No. Nope. And then he goes, okay, I was being polite, but I'll get it. <laughs> and the group is like, you right. You right. We can't stop you. <laughs> That's debatable. So we spend a little bit of time arguing about it. Cal asked if, you know, we five minutes as a group to discuss You probably it. didn't mean five minutes, but you said five minutes. I... I just threw five. I mean, I it had was had a number that minutes. I had in my head. If you said ten, it would be like, fine, ten. But you said five, it was like, easy. Yeah. I'll go stand outside. I didn't want to spend, like, five hours discussing mm. it. I figured five minutes. Nice, quick, simple. Yeah. So he, he was like, fine, that's fair. I'll go wait outside. Yeah. So then uh, Liren, Cal, and Leon were okay with the arrangement, considering that he was offering to let them use it if they needed it. And, and he also said he would get it only if it's obtainable to him. Only like, if, if it was could, possible for him possible, to get it. Yes. And then he also said that he would make sure that bad stuff didn't happen to the party within his control. And Liren was like, well, I can try and, like, loophole it. Yeah, by, I'm assuming, a, attuning it or... You know, attaching it to her. Right. Somehow. To Sorn as well, where, you know, all we hear is that he's going to, you know, rip something like Shalik out of Leon. It's like, yeah, if Liren attunes to it, there's not going to be anything that really stops him from going, like, oh, it's attached to you? Oh, that kind of sucks. <laughs> rip! Well, he, he won the agreement. Because he offered to remove Shalik from you. He offered to, it with agreement. He's not going to. It, it still, he it doesn't put it past any of them with any of this crap. So. Anyone can do anything. Well, Lyra yeah. a good point in that, like, he promised not to hurt her. So if she does do and it. Those are all, like, with asterisks and small antics. print. And yeah. All the little tiny details. You're making That's deals. That's a problem with, for future Stormbreakers to worry about. You're making but deals with that? demons. Don't trust any We're of basically them. all going to be dead. The only so, <laughs> I, I think it should be noted here that at least we took five minutes to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. At and which point... Majority three out of four. Yeah. Yeah. At which point Cal was like, we're done arguing. We voted, and that's what we're going with. So Walked outside. Walked out, talked to Fox. Was like, I guess I guess this is fine. You're like, is this legit? He was like, yeah, I'm going to hold the deal. I haven't broken a deal before. 
They're you're like, like we're not deal. Die, are we? And then, not gonna be another crit. and then I asked straight up. I was like, so I'm not gonna get another mark, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can only do one. <laughs> <laughs> so then, what else did you find out? Uh, so as as Cal made the agreement with Fox, um, she noticed there was runes on the ground around them and realized, hey, they were in some sort of other magic circle. And she was like, what's with these What's with these runes? And Fox was like, oh, well, this is so Lilith can't hear us. Um, and you can't tell the rest of the party, but I'm sorry. Uh, and he kind of revealed to her that he, he said that he had once been a human that had made a deal and now he was this tiefling and that he had to work with Lilith. Whether or not that's actually true. Because well, he revealed. said, if I don't, she'll kill her. Implying she'll that kill her, implying that there is like somebody he is protecting. Or something. Um, a reason to his nefarious actions, which would be all nice and, you know, great if it's true, but <laughs> who knows? What are you going to do? Well, I, I be like, what are you going to do if it's not? If it's not true? I mean, I don't think that changes, changes the plan too much. Okay, what if it's true? If it's true, then I would probably try to help him. Everything you'd know would just be like... Wait a minute. <laughs> Get uh, that out not of exactly. It would just be like... It would be more of a thing of like, okay, so let's turn this problem into an opportunity. Uh, we've got an opportunity out of our hands. Let's, let's capitalize if we can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> that is also nice fighting, fighting Lilith. You can count me I mean, <laughs> we're already going against... Demon lords. I mean, it's really what's not the, that far of a stretch. What's one more, two more, what's, ten what's more? What's seven or the eight hundred more? Whatever. It's fine. I got it. That's semantics. That's just so, numbers. That's, that's a problem for future Either story. Either way, right, right now, Cal is the only one that knows, yes. quote unquote, this information, yes. um, whether it's true or not, and she can't reveal it to anyone else. Yep. However, Liren did pick up on the fact that during the initial conversation, Fox had been a little weird because he had started to say something that sort of stopped himself um, and said something along the lines of, oh, I can't even talk about that. Uh, so she, I think Learn had kind of picked up on that, too, and had kind of asked Cal about it, but Cal was like, nope, no nothing. Well, yeah, cause it was, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you called him a... How strange. Haha. <laughs> you called him a tiefling. Yes. I mean, and he was, he was like, like, don't, don't let me in with them. You. Yeah. And he said, fine, demon. Or son of a demon, and he was like, "Don't let me in with them." Yeah, and it was just like, "Fine, you're another breed." <laughs> yeah. So interesting interaction. Um, afterwards, Cal and Liren took like the next shift watch. Kind of had a nice little moment where we were like sisters, and then we went to bed. You got yeah. It's not like a like I'll die before you, Cal. Don't worry. And I'm not gonna let you. Meanwhile, go Cal's like, "You just died. I don't <laughs> want you." To die again, I had to. I don't have another Cornelius to sacrifice, okay? <laughs> Cornelius? I only have one soul and I already need to do. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, and yeah, kind of. Who knows? Yeah, we'll see what happens. So, you guys went to, you know, bed, and then the next shift was Leon. And this night was just a night full of revelations. Yeah, it was. Uh... So, what happened with you? Uh, basically, Shalik was saying, um, she was, because, uh, during, like, the whole, I almost call him Wolf, uh, during the Fox transaction, uh, he did ask if I wanted Shalik to be removed and to make a pact with a demon. Right. Because like, you could be more powerful as a warrior. Yeah, I was like, no, nah, I'm good. I, I remember that. I appreciate it. It's all good. <laughs> nah, it's okay. It's okay. To know from me, dog. <laughs> it's <know> me, dog. <laughs> Maybe next time. Yeah. Catch you next time. Uh, but then Shalik uh, wanted to talk, and she was wondering, like, if I meant it or, like, would I really take up that offer? And I was like, I really was just saying whatever I could, so he would leave me alone. <laughs> That's usually best case scenario. Yeah, just, Fox. honestly, yeah. Like, yeah, I was saying whenever I could, just so I could leave me alone. Who knows what he would do? I know he has a power to rip you out, though. So I don't want to die. You don't want to die. That's fair. Yeah, let's lie. <laughs> but then you went on for your watch. She was like, "You need to be careful, of Cal." And Laren. Which I no, mean, no, it was first. It was Cal. Like, not a lie. I was like, <laughs> "Okay, I I get what you're saying." She's like, "No, but like you have to be careful, Cal." She's walking that uh, fine line, <laughs> and she's making bad deals and this, that, and the other. And if you need to take her out, like, oh, wait, whoa, whoa, wait whoa, fam, <laughs> slow down. She's like leering too, like, wait a minute, <laughs> wait, <laughs> this is half the group. <laughs> I can't do that. 
We'll so, take him out. <laughs> right. Well, because it was like Cal is a, essentially a demon making quick deals with other demons. Which I understood, yeah. Right. It, and, you know, without much thought, it was just like, yeah, sure, demon, whatever. It was like, that's kind of concerning. And then with Lear and. Why I took five minutes. This right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you, with this pace, ten more deals from now, you'll take ten. <laughs> <laughs> then ten more deals from now, you'll take I am. 15. I might be a slow learner, but I'm still a learner. Right. The curve is. Very close. <laughs> so Shalik was concerned about uh, Lyrian's use of the sword, which was Tittlevillis' sword. Yeah, which it might corrupt her. Right, it could corrupt her. Essentially, it could be a conduit or a yeah. lightning rod for evil. evil. So the only one that she's okay with, sword. Yeah. Which is not surprising, considering right. Soren's alignment and his devotion to a god and his behavior yeah. and his actions. I think it's more of just the alignment. Even if I wasn't in with a god, she'd be like, Soren's still yeah. a good god. Yeah. But I think those, I think those <laughs> things I think sort helps. of help. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas, yeah. like, Liren and I are sort of just like, meh, demons, eh, part of our lives. Well, and eh. this is where, like, we briefly spoke about how this is what happens when chaotic good meets someone like your character who's a chaotic neutral. Mm-hmm. It's like... Yeah, chaos does not like chaos. <laughs> and that goes because she wanted me to either deal with them or to leave the group and right. get a new group. Well, this is where it comes down to when we talk about alignments, where it's like, you know, lawful good, you know, yeah. calls the authorities to take down the cat in the tree. Law, uh, neutral good climbs the tree and gets the cat. And then chaotic good burns, burns down the tree, the tree to get the cat <laughs> out of the tree. <laughs> and this is where Shalik is essentially like, Burn down the tree to make sure everything's okay, guys. And that tree happens to be Cal and Lear, and like man. they're bad. Burn them down so that you they're they're so you're so you're good, man. Let's just make her chaotic neutral. Let's do well, that. That's, right? that's 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 that's, that's not, not how, how, how that works. works. Come on, we can do it, right? You nope. can help. certainly try. Help. She is a cleric for Paylor. It ain't going anywhere, but Let's make more her, like, good. <laughs> a death person for. I'm still for all for pay. amputate. I don't work like that. Chaotic neutral. It don't. It don't <laughs> it's kind of like flesh. It's, 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 it's all over my. It's. It don't. It's I know, here, but if we cut off the, of the it festering it can, wound, <laughs> sort, but it is bonded with yeah. my soul. We got so, somewhere. I'll just I mean, die. New you know? new plot threads developing. New things oh, to yes. encounter. New yeah. Yeah. new stories to unfold. Right. Like, right. So, yeah. so more, Leon, Leon was more, pretty much like, all right, we'll come, we'll come to that room when we cross. More yeah, exactly. To to. Like, Leon will probably not be. <laughs> so you went longer. to bed. You got up. I did. Now it yeah. should be said, Sorn right now is of the mindset of like, fine. They want to give the sword. They can be the ones that do it. Go in by yourselves. I'm not going. Because it, it was like, I'm not going to be part of that. I wanted to get the sword so that we could defeat evil, not hand it over to evil. To evil. <laughs> yes, I love when evil gets the gun that kills evil. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it. So then no one can have the gun that kills evil. I just feel like things would have been worse if we said no. Things would have been better. Who knows? You'll never know now. <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll we'll talk about sure. that in um, what if scenarios. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you, you know, you did terrible in your perception. I didn't do terrible. You did mediocre on I your did, perception. I did like 13. You did, yeah, you did mediocre. He did the one. Yeah, you got the one. You're just like, My perceptions were terrible. Everything you're like, else it's was dark fine. Out. It's fine. It's dark out, guys. Yeah, um, yeah you did. Okay. I mean, it's lovely. Yeah, I did. I did mid. Kind of. Okay. Um, but then I rolled really well. <clears throat> on your religion. On my religion check. No, then at 20. Yes. Um, they just keep coming to me, and I'm just like... Everyone else gets in that one, though. So. Must yeah. be nice. <laughs> um, so... You once again had a conversation with Odin, who is traveling Odin. around still, just doing his, doing his thing. <laughs> it's what Odin does. He's traveling the wanderer. The he's the traveler. He's Being the one-eyed knowledge YouTube guy. So he, you know, he came over to him and was like, "Hey, I'm, I'm here to help. What do you need to talk about?" <laughs> it was just like you're on a good path. The fate has a lot in store for you, and uh, you keep going, and uh, you have so much more power that we can give you. And Sarn's like, well, I don't necessarily want more power. I mean, be not, it's cool and all, but... That's not the goal. That's not my goal. Which, of course, is one of those things where probably, you know, Odin's like, my boy. <laughs> That's why you're going to get it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it was one of those things where Sorn was, uh, had, he was like, all right, all father, you, you know, wisdom and everything. Break it down for me. <laughs> um, he was like, is the sword that we're heading for, is this even worth me getting? And of course, Owen's like, yeah, if I had a weapon that could, you know, destroy all enemies that are in my path to even pre- possibly prevent an apocalypse. I'd do it. <laughs> I'd do it. He's like, even if you have to give that weapon back to the enemies in the end, and Odin was like, 
Yeah. So Soren's like, all right, I'll trust in Odin's wisdom. And I guess we're doing it. He's like, I guess we'll do it, and he'll Thank adhere you, to the deal. Thanks, Odin. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you guys get there, and it's like, Soren's like, fine, bye, guys. And you guys have to walk I mean, into a dungeon. I mean, we would have had to do it without you. Yeah. Soren sits around. outside and pouts for the entire <laughs> fight. <laughs> That's not very... Uh, Viking esque. <laughs> it is when he's it, it's it's sticking very, to his values. Yeah, it's not very it, lawful good of you. I mean, technically, it could be the law would be don't give evil things evil. Also, right. he lawful be, good. He I wouldn't be say. believing in the fight, so it wouldn't be a just fight for his his cause. His cause. So it wouldn't yeah, be but a, between a fight and his family. Getting the snow. That's Nancy and Goody. That's not the story. So I'm Storm saying. would and would have every right for his religion and his uh, belief system to sit. Yep, the he, he would have defended the entrance. Right I mean, now. like I said, maybe the he could, could sit could outside and pout, and the three of us yep. would die, and then camp campaign. <laughs> so well, we'll we'll credits and roll. And then, and then, well, hold on, before credits, we have to haunt him. <laughs> well, That's no, right. No, he runs have off with Kikio, him. and we come back as ghosts. We'll see what would yeah. happen is and then uh, she goes back to hell. Like you, if you guys all die in there, he'd be like, "Well, I didn't make a deal. <laughs> Go get the sword." And <laughs> be like, "Ha ha! I made no deal. But the sword Fox's is mine." contract is still with you. No. Yeah, he'd kill Yangu. That's if he I kills Yangu. I would fulfill my end of the bargain of taking Yangu down. If you do. If you do by yourself. Yes. He would just have to wait and get out of the whole truth and be like, Storm the one play. <laughs> 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 we'll lose all of us when we might win. <laughs> he would just so one true. person live. Well, because even then, in the end, he would still go into battle, and if he died in battle, he'd be like, To Valhalla! <laughs> and then move on. We're all on to you in Valhalla. <laughs> to Xander! <laughs> you can go luck getting into Valhalla. I can't wait to ride Xander! <laughs> Xander! <laughs> so, Unicorn. Odin provided you with a little bit of wisdom. Right. So now Soren is of the mindset of like, well, if Odin's saying it's worth it, I will go with him, get the sword, and uh, use it to try and get to this end goal for the moment. Yeah. And then uh, we woke up, and it was time to head on out. Head on out, and you guys started your way about 30 minutes away. You can see off in the distance because it is a very large fortress. <laughs> Civilization. <laughs> that you saw with uh, Devin Spyglass and you guys all stopped. You saw through and you uh, noticed people sort of like on the top of the keep and the portcullises of the, every tower. You know, you saw the White Talon were established there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you also noticed with the high perception you rolled that there was a scouting party heading your way. Yep. You don't know if they noticed you or not, but they're heading towards you. Yeah, and I'm going to just go on ahead and assume that uh, we are a large caravan of people. There's a chance we will probably be spotted if we have not already. Yeah. So If we haven't been, they're so, a really bad group. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Cal, was nah. like, Cal was like, I'm just going to jump the gun on this one. You know, we, I went out talking to the postman being like, hey, can we like just get ahead of this? You also learned his name was Philip. I learned it was Philip. Soren learned it was Philip. Yeah, Soren was like, I feel bad. You know what? We haven't actually learned your name. And he was like, that's fine. A lot of people don't know my name. <laughs> <laughs> now Soren does. Yeah. Now, that we should also note, uh, earlier on when we met the guards, we found out that uh, any interactions or dialogue with uh, oh, groups yeah. like the White Talon, it regards in a fine yes. of 500 gold per person. That's so much money. Yes. That is so much money. But since, you know, when we interacted with them, they're like, well, you, you saved this city from being slaughtered, so we'll let it pass this time. But if you're heading over there and you run into them and you are, you know, in cahoots with them in any way, you're going to be fined if not killed. And so the postmen were like, well, why don't, or Storm was like, why don't we have it so that the postmen go, because they're not us. Uh, if we convert them into postmen, they're not the white talent of criminal organization anymore. Uh, then they can't be, you know, we yeah, can't semantics. be... Semantics. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Little it's details. It's plausible deniability. <laughs> um, He's like, I And then the one. postman was like, well, why don't one of you come with? Because we had work, be, worked with the White Talon before, so it would be somebody <laughs> that they recognized. And uh, I think I think I felt like you wanted to go, but I was also like, your persuasion is not great. <laughs> it's Soren, of course, he wants to go. <laughs> I was like... Maybe, huh? And then Lear was like, yeah, you kind of hit people with a very blunt truth. Maybe we don't want that right now. <laughs> you guys are going to die if you don't do this. And You're going to die me. right now. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 so I didn't mean I was going to do it. Guys, um, I'm trying to help. <laughs> you know, Leon was out because he hadn't been with us right. for the White Talon, yeah. even There's though no his persuasion <laughs> was as good as mine. And Cal asked Lear, and like, do you want to do it? And the reason why Cal asked Liren was because she had so brutally killed one of theirs with her... iced him. With her iced him. And I was thinking, well, there's that intimidation factor. 
But, but then they Lyra her might politely <laughs> they might it, and her persuasion's me. not not great either. So Cal decided to volunteer as tribute, and so go. that's why she is communicating with the postman to start yes. heading out there. And the postman also agreed to pay Cal's fine. So. If yeah, if they if they did get charged, like one of you was interacting with them, it's like well, pay five hundred, and the postman would be like, here you go, Leave which is great because Cal is a very do. broke individual ninety percent of the time. Yes. Yep, five hundred. You'd be like, I don't have five hundred. Go in jail. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it, not again. <laughs> so, it ended remember. with uh, you guys... Walking towards the Walking towards yep. Walking off yep. in the distance. So, with two uh, other postman guards, so it was four of you versus, you assume, you only city. saw a few of them, but you assume yeah. there were more than four scouts. So, we will be starting that um, tomorrow night. Ta-da. We'll be jumping right into that right. situation. Um, oh, I can't wait. We're starting with the white talent. Oh. It should be should be kind of an interesting thing. Uh, I'm, hoping for I'm like, looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping for a little bit of negotiation and maybe see if we can get inside the, uh, the civilization. Yeah, yeah Cal, Cal's going to try persuasion. <laughs> see how that try. goes. Well, I'm hoping the postman will... Uh, have more, like plenty of viable because the only ones going to be making yeah. an offer. I'm hoping, and you're more we're going to be there for hopefully persuasion slash. Uh, what's the word? Deception. I'm no uh, slash like the um, the middleman. Middleman. You're the uh, reason that they would possibly believe it is because they yeah, they'll like tell yeah. know that you guys are true to your word and everything like that. Yep. Like all right, if they're giving us this deal, they're probably coming at us with some truce. Yeah. <laughs> So we'll see how that goes, um, and we will see you guys tomorrow night.